For this demonstration, we are going to look at how to calculate predetermined overhead rates in either a job order costing system or a process costing system. If we look at our example problem here, it states that Home Furnishings Inc. applies manufacturing overhead on the basis of machine hours used. Overhead costs for the year were expected to be $200,000 and machine usage was estimated at 100,000 hours. Actual overhead costs incurred for the year ended up totaling $235,000 and actual machine usage was 110,000 hours. So the first thing we need to calculate here is our predetermined overhead rate. If you recall, predetermined overhead rates are always calculated as estimated total overhead cost divided by estimated total activity. Here our activity base is machine hours used and we expect to use 100,000 machine hours throughout the year. We expect to incur overhead costs of a total of $200,000. So our predetermined overhead rate is the $200,000 in total estimated cost divided by the 100,000 machine hours we expect to use. That's $2 per machine hour predetermined overhead rate. The next thing we want to find is the amount of over or under applied overhead for the year. In order to do so, we need to compare the applied overhead to the actual overhead incurred. Okay. If we apply more overhead than we incur, we're going to be over applied for the year. If we apply less than we incur, we are going to be uh, under applied for the year. So in order to calculate our actual overhead incurred, that is given at $235,000 right here in the problem. To calculate our applied overhead, we always take our predetermined rate times our actual activity. In this case, that's the $2 per machine hour that we calculated in part A times the actual machine hour usage of 110,000 hours, or a total of $220,000. So as you can see, our incurred overhead was 235,000, but we only applied 220,000, so we are under applied by the difference, $15,000. We need to clean up the manufacturing overhead account before moving on to the next period, as it is a control account that cannot have a permanent balance in it. So to do so, we take any under or over applied overhead and we move that amount to cost of goods sold. So here we are under applied in manufacturing overhead by $15,000. So we're going to take $15,000 out of the manufacturing overhead account with a credit. And we're going to have a corresponding debit to cost of goods sold for the same $15,000. And there's our adjusting entry to clean up uh, our under applied overhead. 